Welcome to herbarium how-tos. Now that you've successfully mounted a plant specimen, it's time to accession the specimen. So moving back to the collection, we're gonna go to the specimen processing queue again, this time beginning at the two accession cabinet. So we'll open up the cabinet. As you can see, we have cubbies that say ready to accession and we'll pull out the specimen and we'll get started. Okay, so before we begin, we need our accessioning supplies. So we'll go to this drawer near the database computer labeled accession supplies. In this drawer, you'll find everything you need for accessioning. So for this task, you'll need your specimen, the accession book, the accession stamp, the accession number stamp, and some sort of writing utensil, preferably a pen. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna open up the book here uh, to the most recent page. We're gonna add the date of this accession. So today's date is May 5th, 2021. And I'm gonna add my initials so that way we can keep record of um, who did this accession. And in the comments, we're going to add a note about, is this a new accession or is this it a specimen that we found in the collection that potentially didn't have an accession stamp? So in this case, it is a new accession. So I'm gonna write new accession. And you'll notice that um, the last accession has been stamped here so we know where, um, where we left off. So this accession stamp is unique to each specimen. So this number will never be used again. And that's why it is important that we record that in our accession book. So the last specimen left off on 90. So I'm gonna, in the stamp here, I would change it from, it was previously on 90 and I change it to 91. And before I stamp in the book, I wanna make sure that this still has ink. It's been a while, it was December uh, 2019 since we last did this. So I wanna make sure that the ink is still fresh. So I'm just gonna take this and place it on this scrap paper here, press down. Okay, and that looks really great. So it's good to place in the book now. So I'm gonna place this here press down. So the first accession that we're doing is 91 and we're only doing one specimen. So that means our first accession and our last accession are going to be identical. So I'm going to place this here and stamp. There we go. Okay. So once you've made your record in the accession book, Close that, we're done with this. Now it's time to move on to the specimen. As previously mentioned uh, during the mounting video, we want the accession seal to be in the top. Doesn't necessarily have to be the top right, uh, but that's where we're gonna place it today because we have this nice space here. So now we'll take our accession stamp and we're gonna open this up. go. And as you can see, it's got a nice label at the top. So we know how it's oriented. So we're not kind of stamping blindly. Um, so if it's upside down, then of course it would stamp upside down. And that's not how we want it to be on our specimen. So we're going to practice again, make sure it's oriented um, in the proper way. And we're just going to gently press down. You don't have to smash it or hold it down. Um, it'll be perfect if you just do it nice and gently, just like that. So we can see the ink is nice and fresh. And now that that looks good, we're going to place the same stamp onto our specimen. And then we know that this is from the SIU collection. As you can see, just place that there. Make sure it's straight. Press down. And that's it. We've added our accession stamp.
Now we add our unique accession number with our accession number stamp. And again, you want it to be oriented properly. So we're going to do a test again. So this is going to be on there forever. Okay, that looks pretty good. You'll see that the numbers are in line. And we can adjust if they're just a little bit off, just like that, by turning these dials. That adjusts the numbers. Okay, so that's good. We've ensured that the ink is fresh, the numbers are correct, they're in line. And now we're gonna place our unique accession number under the accession stamp. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna line it up, and then gently press down. And there you have it. We have successfully accessioned this specimen. Okay, in some cases you might make a little mistake where uh, maybe you miss a number or the number doesn't come out clearly, and that's okay. Instead of re-stamping on top of it and making it quite a mess, you can use an archival pen, and these are in abundance here in the herbarium, and you'll just take that archival pen, and you can simply just uh, pencil in or pin in the proper digit here. So um, in this case, I'm missing a one, so I'm just gonna, with my best handwriting, there we go. As you can see, now we have a nice clear number. Uh, maybe this five wasn't very legible. We could just simply kind of go over that very gently. And there we go. Easy to fix your mistakes.